Hello everybody, this is Miles Luigi Welcome you back to Let's Play Mario Gives Up 2. It's been quite a while, but today I have some guests with me. I don't know where the hell I am. What am I doing here? <laughs> Where's my pants? I'm the evil Pop-Tart. And Higsby? Alright, so yeah, it has been quite a while, and I decided to finish off this ROM hack with guests, and I guess a couple of news items. Oh my god, what the hell is this thing doing? There's a Koopa Troopa who decided to spew fireballs all over the place. Hell, can he fly? <laughs> Why can he fly? What is this? Oh, some things never change. Yeah, when like it comes pushing to me the jump button! <laughs> Push the jump button! <laughs> So yeah, I'll be finishing the rest of this ROM hack with guests and no more save state policy. So if you wanted to see save state policy play through this game, you've come to the wrong place. <laughs> come to the wrong I don't channel. think anyone I actually show. plays ROM hacks anymore without save states. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> That's because everybody makes them so damn difficult. Uh, does Raukow still yeah. do stuff save state Actually, stateless? yeah, Raukow pretty much... The funny thing don't is, know. that kind of started in Super Mario Omega. He no one spammed knows. save states okay. like mad. And then when he got to the end of Super Mario Omega, he like he was really sad because he was destroying the game by just save stating through the whole thing. So then he kind of threw it out the window, and then ever since he hasn't been using save states. <laughs> <laughs> I'm throwing but the achievement your Rob had caused out the window. Sorry, Higby. <laughs> okay, for, first of all, this freaking background is trippy as crap and it's annoying. My eyes are having a hard time adjusting. What the hell is this? <laughs> Look at all these little mini Yoshis coming after me. They're, they're like part of the background, practically. Wow. <sighs> My eyes are bleeding. Oh, another <laughs> giant pipe. Uh, there we go. Let's go in it. My, my eyes are doing pretty well. I have to admit, I know that there, I, if you go to Super Mario World Central, everyone's like, oh my god, too much red, my eyes, they burn. But it's, it's never really been something that bothers me. I don't know. <laughs> Son of a biscuit, I forgot this game had a password. Oh. What password? What are you talking about? <laughs> it's been very long. <laughs> oh, wait, that password. It's been, it's been long. Okay. I'm not going to guess because it'll cost me six lives. But I, you give me a sec, I, I have to look up my old videos for a sec. One moment. Why? No! <laughs> I'm back. The code is 52123. <laughs> Damn it. Thank goodness I have video evidence of this. You have 30 Ugh. lives. What a waste of time. <laughs> 30 is a lot two, less one, than 5. You gotta... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you were to guess at this, you'd have to do 5 guesses times 5 times 25 potential times 5, 2. Oop, this doesn't 1. Here I am trying to do math in my head. <laughs> yeah, 5 times 6 gives you 30. And 30 times 6 gives you 180. So theoretically, up to 180 lives you'd have to blow if you wanted to guess this password. <laughs> Whatever. Oh my gosh! Uh, what's going on here? Whoa. Um. <laughs> He's on barbecue skewers. <laughs> oh god! This is the most violent rum hack ever. Luigi, you should listen to your brother and give up. <laughs> well, that, that's a <laughs> great way to enter hell. <laughs> okay, <coughs> pardon me. That, that that left me pretty shell shocked. <laughs> I'm like, oh, look at all these dead things. <laughs> oh, what is this hell? Yes, this should be hell. Unless you're going to be one of those. Oh, we're in the donut planes again. That joke never gets old, by the way. We're in the Donut Plains as we enter this castle. We briefly enter the Donut Plains as we go back to hell. There we go! <laughs> That's what I've always hated about the entrances game. in Super Mario World. <laughs> <laughs> You're able to edit that, right, Higsby? Kind of. You can set up an own, say your yes. own custom one, but it's, it's, you can't really edit it that well, no. Oh. Well, today I learned something new. But anyway, it appears hell is this multicolored disco thing, which brings me to the joke I wanted to make, provided I can get out of here without dying. <sighs> oh my gosh, do I jump up here? No, I don't. That's Those are hurt blocks. Wow. 
Wow, yeah. Is How that we're supposed to do that? Some... Everything's just a digital manifestation and we're inside some digital machine. When we die, we just cease to exist. <laughs> this appears to be the case here and Mario gives up to his version of hell. We're seeing the Matrix unfold before us. <laughs> no, you're just this is probably the least either that or frightening. LSD. <laughs> this is not the worst version of hell I've ever seen. <laughs> this is... Disco rave all night. LSD! Alright. <laughs> So, are we equating LSD to I guess LSD that disco raving hell? all night would be hell for some people. <laughs> it could be, because it makes your heart go non-stop until your heart blows up and explodes, and then you're dead. <laughs> you're even more dead. Jokes we make. If I may, if I may make an inside joke, as I get blown up by a bullet bill that travels way too freaking fast. Um, Mario, you ate too many Scooby snacks. Pow, right in the kisser. <laughs> <laughs> too many Pow, Scooby right snacks. Kiss her. Uh, and only like ten people understood that joke. <laughs> anyway, I if I remember correctly, there was a hint. I don't remember it because it's been that long. That told me to just fall randomly somewhere in this level. Hmm. Huh. Gee, that helps. <laughs> that helps <laughs> fall randomly at some point. <laughs> oh boy, it's is this death? Oh my! Just keep asking. It is very yourself, much is this not death. death. It's very much not. Okay, there we go. We've made it at least to the midway points of this cl clustral fudge of a level. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe this level, really. This level's awesome. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> it is. Oh, that's where I fall randomly. Yay, I found it! Okay, we're gonna fall randomly here. Yay! I got a power-up out of that. But it's like somebody took the concept of color wheel being the hell and literally went with it. It's like the color wheel is hell, so we're gonna make an entire level that is like pulsating colors and feeling around and I don't know where I'm going with this joke actually. <laughs> this level looks like it freaking uh, oh. nighttime bowling. Well, what's it called? Like cosmic bowling or something like that? Cosmic or? bowling. I don't know. I, I, have you guys even gone bowling recently? Yeah. Cosmic bowling? I haven't gone cosmic bowling. Yeah, all the flashy years. lights. It's supposed to make bowling more fun. Glow in the dark shoes <laughs> and. Oh gosh, I've never done any type of bowling other than regular bowling. And pardon me, bumper bowling, so I have something to learn. Oh my god, you haven't gone cosmic bowling? <laughs> no, I have not. We are going cosmic bowling. I'm gonna set up a date and <laughs> time and we're gonna go cosmic bowling. And then I'll be like, oh god, it's like hell and Mario gives up too? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, you can't really see where oh, stuff wow. is, there's a lot of flashing lights and your shoes are glowing green. So every time you go up to the ball to take, go up to the lane to throw your ball, the ball is like this trippy pink or neon blue <laughs> or neon green, and then you look down and you go, whoa, my shoes are glowing in the dark. They're pretty distracting as hell. Oh, I don't die when I fall, okay. I'm just about to say, uh, oh god, what's your name, Dunce? Yes, it's Dunce. He... Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know. How do I describe dunce? I, I killed him. <laughs> the white cap? The white cap is a dunce. It's called a dunce hat. There we go. So, hot stuff. Chances are the secret exit in hot stuff takes me to the random cabin in hell. So, the person who bought that cabin in hell. What is the real estate there? <laughs> <laughs> like, I own property <laughs> in hell. What is that worth? <laughs> I must have an objective answer to this question. It's mostly for the bragging rights. It's not so much you actually want to stay <laughs> in it. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, for a second there I thought I was crushed. Now I'm really screwing things up. But I was crushed and then I died anyway. And you're not pushing well, the jump button again. <laughs> this is very much more typical hell than... what bowling level was. <laughs> I'm kind of lost for words right now, actually. Damn it! Spin jump on everything! There we go. Screw your spin jumps. Make them <laughs> normal jumps. Why does everything have to be spin jumps in these damn ROM hacks? <laughs> That's, I oh, love that, though. You You're the one who normally is like, why the hell aren't you jump moon jumping this fire. shit? <laughs> <laughs> How does that not burn your feet? You normal jump on it and you burn, but when you spin jump on it, you don't. What oh, there's spin a key jumping up there. So special. 
I'm not oh, going to be is. happy there's until this overpowered spin there. jump comes back in the new Mario game. I mean, there's spin jump in the newer ones, but they don't do anything. <laughs> And because you can play new Super Mario Bros. U with a real freaking controller, you could do a spin jump with just pressing the R button. Echo button with a real freaking controller! <laughs> the voice of God says. <laughs> the gamepad's not that bad. It's better than using a freaking Wii remote. I don't even want to speak of the Wii ever again. <laughs> Here we go. I suppose that's true. The Wii gamepad thing, you know, with the... That's the video screen. I don't even know what to call it that we use that unsuccessful. <laughs> the gamepad. But the thing is, like, <laughs> gamepad, that's like what you normally call a controller. Anyway, I think the way we get this key uh, is I spin jump off of a fireball from the Bowser? I'm gonna take a guess. Oh, wow. Hmm. I'm just gonna take that hit. I think I'm right. I think I'm right. I think I'm right. Damn it. Let's try that again. I think I'm right. Damn it. <laughs> huh? You'd think maintaining a straight line would not be this difficult. There we go. <laughs> ha ha! I have emerged victorious. Only to not be victorious. Very nice. There we go. <laughs> Again, you didn't there push we go. the jump. Marching button. ahead! Through more corridors of fiery hell. Why did I do that? <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> Thought you were invincible. It's like platform you can't spin of jump fire. On it. Ha -ha. What you gonna do now? Can't spin jump on it. I have found the secret exits, and our screen just does random stuff, and that takes us to rest area. Okay, a random cabin in the middle of hell is called rest area. <laughs> Where you can buy a soda, some potato chips, take a crap. You won't be able to go down that pipe unless all exits have been found. It holds some cool info and even some good pra- Oh, this is our 100% bonus. <laughs> and hidden in Dr. Oh, Mario's cabin of hell. Like hotter than hell. So could somebody tell me why I can jump on top of the window? <laughs> top of the wind- oh, this is solid too. You can break everything. There better be air conditioning in here. Otherwise it will should be literally should... hot yeah. as hell. <laughs> air conditioning. Why would you want a fireplace if you're in hell? <laughs> just look out the window! Alright, let's just take another trip through this level and get back to where we were, okay? This is the problem with secret exits. This is why I don't bother with secret exits because it makes me run through the whole level again. Let's not jump over the fire. Uh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, you kind of made a good point while we were just waiting for me to get through all that again. Evil Pop Tart. Secret exit. Yay! Level practically all over again. I think I remember reading a hint on Super Mario World Central that says don't put the secret exit right at the very tail end of the level, or else people are going to be angry because they have to do the entire level all over again. I'm honestly not really a fan of secret exits that are kind of, like, clearly visible on the main path, so it is almost like doing part of the level twice for no reason. Like, I mean, in this case, you could see the key, you could see the, the keyhole. There wasn't really any surprise. I mean, getting the key was kind of neat, but still, I like secret exits where, you know, you have to go find hidden paths and all this crazy stuff. So it feels like, you know, you're actually doing something extra and not just playing the level twice, but that's just me, I guess. <laughs> I'd I put the secret exit with the key right at the beginning of the level. There you go. <laughs> Press left I, at the I, beginning instead of right. I, you win! Yes! Exactly! <laughs> be like old school! Why can't it be like old school? Can't what do that hell? for every level. <laughs> oh. oh, it's a life! Oh, that's pretty funny. I agree with that train of thought, Higsby. My problem comes when secret exits become absolutely mandatory. Mm -hmm. For completion of the game. Not like extra completion of the game, just completion of the game. And I got 42 stars out of that. Last I checked, that was random. <laughs> Not formula, take the <laughs> cosine of blah 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 blah. It's actually random. But, with that all said, that'll take us to Hell House. So, in the next episode of Let's Play Mario Gives Up 2, we're taking on the Hell House. I've ran out of hell jokes, though. <laughs> Damn it. Well, you were too cruel, devil. Too bad there's no ice water in hell. <laughs> that was kind of a hell joke. <laughs> I'm just kind of looking at the rest area and thinking why that wouldn't be called Hell House. But <laughs> oh well. 
Anyway, this has been Miles Luigi. And the old Paul Higsby. See you all next time.